All right, we're here to talk about three things. The first one might be the only thing you care about, and that is fixing the Sketchfab texture material issue plug-in. When you restart Unreal Engine, your textures and your materials are all messed up. We're going to fix that. that that's, that's number one, and you may not want to watch after this, but there's a reason that I am under here because I'm going to give you the details. So... Second thing is, I'll go over those uh, technical details. If you want to hear them, you may not care. But I'll try to get right to the point, get your problem solved, because this, this drove me nuts. I have invested uh, uh, too much time. And because of that, I want to help others save time, because the objects that are in Sketchfab are awesome. They look beautiful. Um, it takes a lot of time to import them otherwise, so we're going to fix that. And the third thing is I might sing a song or flex my right arm. We'll see which I decide. So fixing this, if we go and look what we've got in here, we got a bunch of beautiful models here. You can see the uh, details of them all nice and close. They look beautiful. They're fixed. Game boys and motorbikes and... And what the heck is this ugly thing, right? So the materials are all messed up on this Lamborghini here. So we got the Lamborghini Falcon. And you'll see that all the textures have completely disappeared once you restart it. And if you're like me, you've dealt with this for a long time, tried updating the plugin, everything, nothing works. So what happens is when you do import it, these texture files... If you look at the source file, they go into a temporary file in a zip file in a folder that's hidden in your username. So basically what you have to do is you have to go in there, find it, copy it into the actual folder, and we're going to do that right now. That may solve your pop, your issue right there, and if it does, that's awesome because you could probably figure it out from there with those details by looking at it. So when... We've got one that's completely messed up, or if you're importing a new one. So I'm gonna re down well, I'm gonna re-import this one. So I'm just gonna go to where all of my object assets are. Go to the plugin. If you need help setting up the plugin, the instructions are not too difficult. I'm not gonna go over it in this video. So too bad. Anyways, you got to log in every single time. And the Lamborghini that I had is not a stat pick. Where's that beauty? <clears throat> there it is. So I'm going to re-import that. Overwrite the existing folder. Merging meshes for the easiest thing to do. You can customize it if you want to do elimination of certain objects in the thing, such as ex excessive whatever names or whatever. So if you go to source file, just pause there to let it compile a little bit. Anyways, so you'll see there that it's it's looking good. This thing is looking beautiful. But as soon as you restart, that all just fades away like a dream where you win the lottery and then you're like, oh, I did not win the lottery. So it's exactly like that. So if you go here, you'll see at the bottom, source file. All you have to do is grab these folders, not these folders, sorry, these files, copy them into the actual folder itself. So we're going to go find these. So this is quite a long list of things to follow. Um, once you figure out how to find it, it's under your username by default in a hidden folder. We're going to go to that right now from scratch. Uh, there's my username. And you can do Alt-V to get you right to your view options. Otherwise, you go up to view. And then just make sure that hidden items is checked off. And when you follow the path of this guy, 
might take a few looks or so, like trying to memorize a phone number. Go to app data. And I might even mess this up just to make you feel better if you don't know what you're doing. Just kidding. I'm a perfectionist. Um, Unreal Engine. Engine and then the version that you're on. I think I did go to the wrong thing. Uh, that's what you get for being arrogant. Uh, okay. Uh, local. I got two Unreal Engines. What's causing all of that? Anyways, so it's in uh, 4.27, and it's under Sketchfab Cache, as the roads will lead you. And I uh, sort this by type and list view. And this guy was... All of the files are in the same zip file, so it's AC4 for this one. There it is. Open it up, extract it. You shouldn't, you don't need me to tell you how to do that if you're probably looking at a tutorial like this. And here are texture files, and this is all you need. So it's interesting, there's only four JPEG files here, but they make quite the difference when you do not have them. So now we have to go to the actual folder where the assets do exist. And you can go show and explore. In this case, you cannot do that with these because it cannot connect to a temporary zip folder. Um, so hopefully that gets updated with the next plugin for Unreal Engine. Um, I believe that Unreal Engine has bought Sketchfab. So nonetheless, um, Anyways, what was I doing? Um, so yeah, anyways, you go to an actual asset, go show an explorer, and just command to the direction, and then you got it split up, and I'm just gonna copy these folders here. I keep saying folders, but copy those files here. Now just copy them like this. And once you do that and you go back to the engine, it's going to probably pop up some stuff. And you just have to click on everything. And it'll probably come up a bunch of times. Save everything. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Um... So now you'll see that the texture file is no longer with the long source file name. When you restart the program, unless you got something else going on, it's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work awesome on every Sketchfab 3D creation that you put in here, as far as I can tell. I haven't had one fail on me ever since this. Um, some of them you won't notice as well. So this one has none of the texture files linked on it and you'll see that it's not as noticeable and as well as so that should get your issue fixed as far as that if you want to if you want to hear some of the technical details about the plugin and stuff you can keep watching now but you don't have to i try to keep these short and it's nine minutes Ugh, sorry um so yeah Hopefully that solves it at that point. I'll go over the technical details now. So it's the exact same thing if you're in like um, 5.0, exact same plugin as well. So we've got a beautiful Lamborghini here. And the other thing is too, on all of the plugins, you will actually see that it wants to update it. And no matter what you do, and as well as on the, the GitHub for issues, no one's been able to find the updated version of it. It says it's two point, as you can see at the bottom there, at the bottom, uh, you can see it's 2.1.0 and there's supposed to be 2.1.1, which maybe will hopefully fix this whole issue and then no one's gonna care about this video, which is fine. Um, but there's no way to update it. So that's the way it is, right? Mm. Um. 
Yeah, and as well as another technical issue, you have to log in every single time. Not a big deal. Um, I think I use the Facebook login, and that's been convenient. So hopefully that's the case for everybody else. So yeah, it does the exact same thing on 5.0. You'll see there in the source file. And when I do go to restart, those, those textures, are, they're going to be wiped out. It's going to look like trash. Uh, some aren't as noticeable, like this old Lamborghini here. Um, it looks fine, but then you see that there are certain things missing, like these lights. And that's no good. And there'll be other little things that may not be right, like the, the glass or who knows. There's a lot of details that you might miss. Um, so I'll just, I'll just do it again. I know the video is long, but hopefully it's solved your issue already at this point. So, uh, so source file. We'll just go this way. We'll start from scratch. In your username, appcat, app data, local. One of your versions of Unreal Engine. The one that has no space for me, anyways. Five. Ooh, I got two 5.0s here. This guy is D76. This is a lot. It seems like a time consuming process, but doing it manually is not easy. And extract all. And like I said, I'm definitely going to flex or sing a song at the end of this. So that might be worth staying tuned. All right, so these are the texture files that we need to fix this model. Now, well, I guess we're fixing this one. Which is fine. I mean, it's not messed up here, but, it, you know, it will be. And show an explorer. It's not letting me on that one. Anyways, it's because you have to save it. Command left. Textures. Huh. There's only one file in there. That is because it's not saved yet. And that's okay. Actually, no, that's not okay. I think you do have to save it first. So that might be a little technical. Might be a technical issue, but I'm not sure. And this could pop up quite a few times. It's annoying, but think of it like if you played Pokemon Go, same thing. You're going to catch a model. But you can actually do stuff with it. All right, and that, uh, that totally fixes it up. All right, guys, take your easy.